Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So this is the Inductrix Tiny Whoop build video part 4 and in this video we're going to go ahead and configure the FreeSky Tyrannus X9D radio and then we're going to configure clean flight on the B-Core board and while we're doing that we're going to use the CLI to move the motor positions around and then we're going to take it for a quick test flight so let's create a new model for our Inductrix it's not much like an Inductrix anymore since we've just about changed everything even the controller okay so I'm going to go into this enter just going to put it in a blank space so holding the enter button choose create model hit the enter button loading the model okay now we'll hit hold enter again uh, oh excuse me what do we do click enter once should be able to hold the enter and go in and edit it why isn't it doing that you don't you already have it selected it's, it automatically selects oh that's it. right okay now it's already selected so We'll just page to the model setup, and yeah, I'm actually going to go give it a name. So let me just give it a name real quick. And uh, what do you recommend, John? I recommend uh, where am I? Is a I recommend Inductrix TW. Inductrix TW, Woo. okay. Or you could put Tiny Woo. I just put Inductrix TW. All right holding it to make it a capital and then I'm gonna go th through and put the rest of the letters in alright we got inductrix TW in for the name I'm gonna go up with a plus key and keep going up till I get to right here and we want D16 we want D8 okay yeah D8 okay let's we'll see we'll pick uh, enter D8, there we go. No, nope. I'll get back there. Exit. Or, okay. So we need to add a channel to the inputs page for our switch for the modes. Uh, what do you think? Channel 5 or channel 6? Channel 5, we want aux 1. Alright, so we'll enter that and we can call this modes if we want to put a name in. I don't know if we do or not, but let's go here, LM, oh, there it is, long enter to make it, okay, mode, that's good enough, all right, and the, now we got to set the switch, so we'll go down here to the source, hit enter, and then we'll just flip, toggle it, toggle the switch, like that, yeah, and that's, that's the SV do. switch, okay, so that's it, we'll hit exit, and I think that's all we got to do. Let me hit exit again. So let's go ahead and put it in the mixer. And mix name. Wait, something changed there just now. It's working now. Okay, it, were, it just had to be entered into the mixer that there was something. So now if I exit, you can see it's in the mixer. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Let's exit out. So now the mode switch is working and it's on the screen right there. Okay. Show that on the screen again. Okay, here it is flipping the switch, and you can see aux one moving right there. Yeah. Okay, so to bind it, we're going to solder these two jumpers here. We tried to just hold something across it, and it didn't work. So we're going to solder them and then remove the solder bridge after we bind it. So to bind it, we just put the bind highlighted, and then we go ahead and press enter. Start the binding process. This isn't the model setup. Okay, now all we've got to do is plug the battery in on the quad. And it should bind. There we go, we're just looking for a solid light. So it's on, it's bound now. Okay, now we can desolder that jumper. And I'll just press enter here to stop the bind process. So now we're going to do some programming with CleanFlight, the CleanFlight configurator. 
and uh, the cable was provided with the board and that plugs in this thing right here. You have to lift the board up just a little to get it in but uh, it goes in fine. Alright now let's go to the computer and uh, we'll do a little programming. Okay we're going to run through the screens on clean flight. We're already connected and uh, so we'll start with setup. Basically we're not doing anything there yet. We may do a calibration later. Ports the factory ports look to be all right. We want serial RX right here for our radio control, and these two are okay the way they are. Okay, configuration. We're just going to leave this the same for now. I believe all of these settings are okay. Not going to change anything here. Uh, fail safe. I think we have this just as land, but it could be drop if you want drop. Uh, we'll just do land. I think it's better for what we're using, so that's fine. PID tuning. We'll leave the PIDs about the same. I'm not going to change those right now. And receiver. In the receiver, we have to turn on the radio. I'm just turning on the radio. Okay. Just make sure that your sticks and things work in the proper orientation. Like, you know, I'm running like the pitch now when the pitch is up. You can see it goes right and pitches down, goes left. So you just check everything, roll, yaw, throttle, and then we got our switch. Okay, now we'll go to modes, which that switch will control, the switch that we set up. It's all right. And uh, so there we are. Now let's do the modes, John. So how do we want them set? Okay, so you want to have on to be from 1200 to right up at the end there. Something like that. For aux one? No, 1200 right there. 1200, okay. That's arm? That's so, arm. So when you go down to the middle or below, it should arm. All right. Okay. So put it back. All right. So now this one you want to be just catching just the middle range. So you want to put, you want to leave this one where it was. All right. Leave that at 1200, but bring this one in. All right. And that's going to be angle mode. Yeah, you want to make sure that the bottom most position doesn't trigger that. So that's stabilized mode right there. Yeah. And then if you go above that, in other words, if the switch is already down all the way, then you'll have acro mode, right? Yeah, that's the idea. But it'll still be an arm, so it won't disarm on you either. Okay, so the switch goes from disarmed to armed with angle mode, and then armed with acro mode. And make sure you save it. And make sure you save it right here. Okay, so that's that screen. There's no uh, adjustments that we're going to make. The servos don't exist with the quadcopter. We don't have a GPS. Uh, the battery we don't have. Okay, here's the motors. Now, we, usually you calibrate the motors on a quad. and. Uh, but this one I didn't see that you had to. It didn't seem like you had to, it, to do it with this one. But if you did, what you would do is... Uh, plug in the battery like that and it might fly away so you have to hold it down then um, let me get my mouse back you turn this on that you understand it it might fly away I don't know it won't let me turn it on anyway yeah because it's not available on this board I don't think. guess it's not available so it looks like we can't do the motors alright if we did we would uh, turn this on and run this master all the way up and go beepity beep and once it gets done with the tones you pull it all the way down and that calibrates them but I don't think you can do it on these boards so we'll skip that no race transponder no LED strip actually there is LED strip but <laughs> just leave that default yeah okay we'll leave that fault default where's the LED strip on these things it's no LED strip it's just a virtual LED strip from the lights on the bottom and like that. Oh, okay so it actually does something huh yeah all right, sensors, nothing. Okay, so pretty much nothing. And then the CLI is where we're going to do some adjustments for the motors being in the wrong place. So we'll get to that next. Okay, we're in the CLI and we're going to remap the motors. But first, let's just take a version. And I want to show you what firmware we got. So we got uh, Clean Flight SP Racing F3 Evo 1. 0.13.0 so that's what we're using okay now let's uh, remap the motors 
So first we do M map. I mean not M map. M mix load quad x. So that loads our default quad x. And then once we got that loaded, we go in and we start to change them. And the way we change them is we so we want to change the yaw to be backwards of what we got right now. So we want negative to be positive and positive to be negative in the yaw column. The way we do that... And the rest will be the same, right? And the, Yeah, and the rest will be the same. Throttle is always 1, so you can just mm. remember that. Throttle is always yeah. 1. And uh, so to do that, we pick a row we want to change. In this case, we're going to do row 0. So we put a 0 in, and then we copy all three of the rest of them in that row except the yaw we want to negate that to a, to a one okay so let me just do that for each one here so I already got it typed in there and I got all of them in there actually right now so and we're gonna do number one next okay M mix one and then we'll do M mix two just changing that last yaw, just reversing the sign basically on the last one, which is yaw. Right, now we need three. Three, and then we do, and then we do a. We haven't typed. Yeah, we haven't typed that one in yet. So we, and then we just simply do a uh, mixer, and we do custom. If you don't do that, you'll lose it all. If you don't do that, you'll lose it all. Okay. And then you just do save. Save. And that should make it work. It's just rebooting now. It has yeah. to reboot after it does the changes in the CLI. And now we're back. And if you want to, you can check to confirm that went to custom by going to configuration. I think it was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. See, now it says custom. It says custom mixer there now. Yeah. Set of quad uh, X. But we're going to go back to setup now and we're going to hit the calibrate button. So you want to have it on a nice flat surface. Mm -hmm. Steady with it, of course. Well, it isn't really flat right now because the board well, is Well, it doesn't there. matter that it's flat, really. It just makes a difference whether it's moving or not when you hit the button. So just just, just leave it laying there. It should mm. be fine. Okay. I'm going to hit the calibrate button and just give it some time and it'll calibrate. All right. And... Just letting it level down there a little bit. Yeah, it looks fine. And so that should be all of it right there, actually. Okay, so as far as we know, we're pretty much done. Yeah. And we can test it and see if it flies. All right, let's give it a little test and just see if it works now. I'm going to turn it around this way. So the camera's facing away from me. So it seems to have really good control. I like it better than the original inductrix board. Of course, I'm in stabilized mode right now. Angle mode. I'm in angle mode. But it really does seem to be easy to flop. I think the motors have more power too, right, John? Yeah. All right. Works pretty good. Now we just need to take it to the gym and slide around a little bit. And then I'll take it out of arm like that. That's a nice feature. Here, play. <laughs>